Guys, really apologise. This video was uploaded, uh, I think, uh, yesterday, uh, only a day ago, and something went wrong with the audio. Uh, it was unknown to us. There must have been a glitch in the downloads. Um, but we've literally had hundreds of people messaging saying they really want to see the video. They can't hear it. Um, and the, it is a great video. There's so much in this video that it needed saving. So um, James managed to sort it all out now. There was a glitch in the download. The audio is so much better now. So we apologise about that. So it's being re going to be re-put on the internet for people um, because it is a great video. Okay. okay. And when you're on, rub the hair off him. Rub him. Oh, he can control his flag. He can control it. He startled over nothing. You crazy cat lady. I know I'm a crazy cat lady. Good. Really good. What a lovely horse. Sam, I don't want to go. <laughs> I want an encore. Well, I don't want to go all soon now. Hi guys, uh, this video today is being brought to you, or finally put together, in Turkey. Uh, I'm in Turkey at the moment with uh, Dan, Charlotte, two grandkids. Uh, we're having a crack in time. Hello. 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 Nice. You crazy cat lady. I know I'm a crazy cat lady. I know I'm a crazy cat lady. Woo! It's okay. <laughs> the weather's been lovely. Uh, so yeah, that's. Uh, I've just had James' message. Just had breakfast. About to go out with every barn to in a, in like a bus they put on to a lovely beach um, where you can wade out and there's fish for the kids and the safety nets and things, it's, it's really good. Uh, just about to go there and James has messaged and said, Dad, you really need to do a video because uh, we kind of, it'll, it'll end up being two weeks between videos. So I'll pop down now. I can go and meet them still when I've done this because I've got myself a little moped. Um, I, I now and again go off looking at old sites and that. So. I usually grab a moped for the week, so I've got got one, so I'll pop down a bit. Yeah, she is. Which colour, guys? Red, grey, or yellow? Wasn't my choice. <laughs> we got the yellow one. <laughs> so this video, a uh, cracking video again. Lots, I always say lots of learning. Um, I've quickly looked through and I, th I think it's cracker again. It's based on a five day trip me and Tanya took to our, one of our favorite places, Blackpool again. Uh, we did a demo up there, some interesting horses in that, but it's, the theme is based around um, the organizer, Helen, Helen Littler. Uh, she organized it, and funny enough, strangely enough, we met them at a bar just down the road uh, in, in, here in Turkey, and the seed was kind of set there, and fair play, She's gone through the whole hog and, and sorted out this demo, uh, which involved a lot for charity as well. So all around was a, was a great, great success. So yeah, the, th the, the main theme is helping Helen's horse. I, I spent um, some time, I got there early up to Blackpool area, so I could spend some time and help her with her horse, which was quite a troubled fell pony. They're kind of like a heavy, a heavy pony. They're more like a horse. But uh, yeah, real troubled, had a bad start, and uh, it'd be really interesting for you to uh, see how and what I notice about this this pony, plus all the other things that are included as well. I, I've just got to add this little little tiny piece in here um, that uh, you'll find. Well, it's self-explanatory. If you just want to give one minute or thirty seconds to look, that'd be great. So we had this uh, picture frame uh, delivered. Uh, Tanya opened it up and said, oh, look, Steve, there's, uh, there's a, um, a letter here. I've covered up phone numbers and things, but uh, it's too long to read. So I'm going to just scan down. And then if you want to read it, it's lovely to read that. Uh, so there you go. And then we took that off. And, 
and then look at that guys all done with um diamonds is it um what an amazing picture thank you so so much for that we're going to place that i don't know if we put it in the bar or maybe in the hall actually uh but yeah there you go i thought i'd just show you that and thank you very much so what an amazing gift that was to find that um in the post uh, thank you so much maggie benner that's who sent it so thank you very much maggie benner thank you for people who don't know that that particular horse um was a horse we had uh, called mac uh, we didn't have him that long i think it was about nine months or something but he was a troubled horse and he was getting on so well he was loved by everyone here and uh, you know i i think he would have been uh, my, my, my future horse for years to come but unfortunately cancer got to him uh, very quickly something that a lot of greys suffer with and it went internally uh, so that is such a lovely gift and thanks for that and uh, we'll carry so on. yeah I'll get straight on with things now because I've got beaches to visit in a minute never ceases to amaze me this view Tanya uh -huh. this is the Priscelli is it Priscelli Hills or Priscelli Mountain Priscelli Priscelli Hills Priscelli Hills place actually ride horse. There is uh, wild horses up here as well. But we don't see as many as we used to. This is only like what, 15 minutes from where we live. Yeah. We're gonna go over the grid now, this keeps this is the cattle grid, keeps all the livestock in. I'm gonna pull over here to let there's a line of traffic actually. And there oh oh oh, oh. let's <laughs> let let's let all these traffic go past. And there's Buck, guys, one of the greatest horse friends I ever had. What a, what a fantastic horse. And there's Buck with Leslie Desmond, author of Horsemanship Through Feel, and Sue, a friend of mine at the time. And there's Buck there. But I will say one thing. I will do a story about Buck. I've got a lot of uh, little videos of him, and I've got a lot of other things as well. A lot of nice pictures and stories to tell about him. But uh, one, of the, one of the ones, he definitely saved my bacon one day. I was working a horse with him. I used to work, start a lot of colts off him. And I dropped the lead rope. I got down in a round pen to pick the lead rope up. And this particular very troubled horse uh, came at me, bearing teeth. And I mean, this is about 20 years ago. But uh, Buck, in the moment, I've never forgot it. He knocked that horse down. Just, just immediately in a flash, knocked that horse down in that ramp in front of me. I've never forgot it. It's, it's amazing. We got there eventually, I think it's about six hours in the end, something like that, may have been, even been a bit more, but a lovely journey up there in all fairness, going through the central Wales, you know, and Nita was fine. Now we dropped Nita off at Helen's sister's, uh, so she was well cared for there, she got a lovely stable, uh, you know, a nice little turn out a little bit with some nice grass in there. Hey Neat. That's a... Uh... A little foul, foul pony, little, Jack. A little bit troubled, Jack. Um, uh, by the, uh, the lovely Helen Whitmer, who's organised this. Oh, and there's 
the sheep. His name is Donkey. Hey Donkey. <laughs> I don't think Nita's noticed he's there yet. Have you Neats? Nita! Here's a lovely Jack, a fell pony, I think age six, six year old. Uh, a real sweet natured, kind of typical of the breed. That's Nita, by the way, having a bit of a whinny out there. Um, quite a, you know, would you say they're, what's their? Generally, very generally calm, calm yeah. nice natured. Yeah. Were they a working pony back in the day, fells? Yeah, up on the fells. They were really yeah. working breed. Quite a heavy horse for the size. Um, yeah, I mean, sweet, isn't he? But he's he's not had the best. He he's very nervous about having a rider on. Uh, he has got what we call um, a very very stiff neck. You can't bend him. So what happens with is when you when you ride him at any moment, he can get scared, tuck his tail, and run. But you can't bet the only way you will stop a horse when it runs is immediately bend it to a stop um, and they almost crave that bend crave that stop because it gets them out of trouble but he doesn't have any <laughs> bend he doesn't he doesn't have any bend we just that agree um kind of some people thought he was in pain bending uh, you know um, i like his hairstyle it's like a bouffant i worked <laughs> last night for probably 15 minutes each and from, from having no bend at all, got a little bit of bend. So before we get cracking, um, uh, I'm just gonna just see what he remembers about bending, because literally he would not bend. Uh, it kind of like, <laughs> I would say, it kind of protected himself from bending, because by bending, he gives himself up to us a little bit. So what, what I did last night, I squeezed his neck a little bit, so I could have another release, and then asked him to, to give, he give there, took everything off, and when he gives there, that was, what do you think of that? That was much better, wasn't it? Uh, that was excellent, guys. That took quite a long time um, uh, to get to get him to, to bend last night. So, um, this is the sort of thing that with a, with a horse like this that doesn't want to, to break loose in the neck, uh, naturally, you could never do that. You could sit here and do that a thousand times you know and benefit as long as you released for the give right uh, this side i think was a lot work a lot stiffer, a lot stiffer um, but we've, we've alleviated um so i'm squeezing here a little bit and uh, release one in and release for the wrong thing then because he he pushed on me that was nice uh yeah didn't take that long to, yeah. to give but it's nice that we've alleviated the pain issue because it, it was thought generally that that was a painful thing for him. But he would let us know if that was painful. He'd swish his tail. They tend to shake the heads. Have you ever seen a head shake? And that's a kind of an indication. Head shake, tail, a shiver. And there, there hasn't been one. I looked yeah. last night. Uh, so would you be agreeable, yeah, Helen, yeah. that, that it's not a pain issue? No. Uh, it's a defensive mechanism that needs training out of him. Okay. Now if he moves his feet here, I'll go with him until he stops and breaks loose like that. He's got to break loose. He has to break loose. Um, there is a delay to it, but that is repetition to get rid of the delay. If he can't bend, we can't do anything um, safety-wise about teaching him to stop. So he's still you see, you see the resistance that's there? Mm. That's what we have to work towards getting rid of. So he immediately Just breaks loose to us, gives mentally to us. Um, again, resistance, so I would just just keep on going here. Till he just keeps on loosening his neck. I've got to watch there. You see he's putting his head down. I'm going to say, no, we don't want the equipment, your head down. Uh, and I have to watch my head wasn't above his head because that is that is not good. Uh, 
Now what we're going to do is see whether we can lower his head. Um, at our request, not his. Um, you've done this again? Yeah, I've done this. He will do it. Yeah, but the lower his head there, that's what matters. Nice. Right, can we disengage? A little clap. Um, now yesterday, he was very reluctant to actually disengage. There he did. Keep on going here. There. He, he bent nicely there. I'm trying to get him to follow. This is going to be the rain. So this equals that shoulder out. Yes. Can you see this? Yeah, yeah. So I want him to start thinking about there's going to be a relevance to this range of shoulder, so there, there, and then release it. That is nice, he's looking in the direction. So that left shoulder, release, that left shoulder, release. That hind quarter underneath, lovely, underneath. Yeah, good, good. And then go straight back to, seeing whether he can uh, not skip around like we did yesterday. Just give it a little bit there. And even though Nita's winging out there on her own, he's not that bothered, yeah. is he? Yeah. Which is a really good sign. A really good sign. Now another thing we can do, is you've got to be very careful that you don't get picked with this. Because basically he needs to follow the rain, okay? Mm -hmm. Follow the direction of the rain if we're going to bend into a stop. When he scuttles, yeah? Yeah? Never ever kicked out. No. Well, that's a personal um, thing. So, a good, a good thing to do is, we're getting to, to follow the rain, is, and you have to be careful here, um, is to let him follow this. See how he follows that down there? Yeah. Right around? Yeah. So, sort of follow it there. There, and try the other side. So this here, he, he follows this round here. See very nicely. Mm. Now he wouldn't have done that yesterday. Yeah. Because he'd have been rigid. Mm. Is this a lot for you to take in? No, it's fine, I'm here. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in, isn't it? Uh, right, do you want to take him up then? I'm literally, I'm just like, I'm going to sit down and grill on him. You know, he's, he's, it's he's just when you're going forward, he's not going to be around Yeah, and he's, he, he just panics a bit. And I think it's because the ride doesn't come off. So his first experience of the ridden in the sand paddock, I've got yeah, him. Guys, it's a, a few rides have come off in, in the sand. Uh, I, sent so, him to, I sent him somewhere to be backed yeah. and, uh, when I was away. Yeah. And he went there and that's when the problem yeah, started. Yeah, he went away for starting and uh, he, he had some bad experiences and it's, it's unfortunate because that's the foundation. Yeah. He, uh, when he gets scared, he, yeah. he feels he needs to yeah. scuff until the rider's gone. And then, and then the other issue was when he had a bad experience at the vets yeah. because he had him scoped in case it was they thought it was something wrong with him. Yes. And he's been traumatised by being at the vest. Jack Stretch. Jack Stretch. Good boy. 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 Jack so, he's rigid here, isn't he? Yeah, I think that's because he gets fearful, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, I remember, so but it's what this is representing. Yeah. So, look, I'm going to tell you now. There's a spot here. There's a spot here which is telling me he's not ready to ride yet. Yeah. You know, we don't want to get no hurt. But all of this spot where, <laughs> yeah. that all is telling you, he's no, there's no way I would ever when a rider horse has got that spot. Yeah. So he has to be tacked up daily, yeah. and works daily, and carry that saddle. That shouldn't happen. Yeah. If you're riding a horse, you don't want that. Yeah. So I think you you need to, we'll see how we get to that, but I'm saying that you don't want that. Now, did you notice what happened with his 
He went rigid, and his neck. That was a defense mechanism. So, you know, you, you've done that there. Mm. So that in, that's a lot of effort. Keep saddling, keep ground working. Saddle off, saddle on. I mean, I know you're a busy woman, but I've never done you've got to. Over the winter, with, with her yeah. and I was back in. Yeah. But yeah, it has. We have. Difference now, about in, now, now look, see there's a spot there. Yeah. You see the spot? The jumping spot. Yeah. So, so I I've done enough of this tonight. I want to see whether we can break and lose the same with the tackle. Mate, mate, you're a scared cat. Yeah. You're a scared cat. Right. It's a really. Yeah. It's a really. Yeah, well, yeah, but. It's usually symptoms of causes, so you know. Some you just kind of answered the question, really. Went away to be broke, and it went a bit wrong. wrong. And that's his. He hasn't forgot that. Yeah. You know, uh, scuttling off and losing riders is a, a, at the at the outset is what you're dealing with here. Yeah. Right? You're, you've got some lovely horses. You've dealt with horses. You're the fell pony. Fantastic, you're riding a bit less. Love the job. You and you did tell me he was totally different before he went away. Am I right saying that? So you, you know, there's your answer. He's he didn't go well for him. Sometimes that's life, and that happens. Do you agree? Sometimes it just a course of events. Um, but. Um, Feel your little fat neck. Feel your fat neck. Yeah. I mean, if you were willing to put the effort in and. and, and oh, definitely willing to put the effort in. Well, I was thinking, you know, if you could get this really good in, in the halter. You could bit this eventually, that would be a nice one. Yeah, that would be yeah. my aim. And we're stiffening up the side. Very worried because he won't track over the back. You see, he's stiffening. Mm. So he's defending himself in case he has to run. Right, you can watch his feet here. Mm -hmm. He won't, he won't, there, just a tiny little one. There. Yeah, he should have got out of it. Yeah, yeah. He never, he, yeah. you see where he's releasing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he's shuffling, so he's keeping his power of scuttle, mm -hmm. his yeah. flight. When he crosses over, he loses that. Yeah. He loses that. So, I want to get in terms of the Yeah. That was quite clear. There you go, mate. There. There. You get that, Tan? Mm hmm. Good feet. Right then, move over that way. Right then, let's see what we've got on this side. So he's struggling there, okay? Yeah. He's defensive there. Speed of this there, just one little try. One little try. Really through it, fella. Really through it. There. Come on. Get on. Get better. There. Okay. So. As I say in, in Lancashire, right. I'm going to have a brew. You're going to have a brew. I'm going to have a brew. Well, Do you know what that means? I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm going to have a brew. I'll leave you something. Right. So, the first thing, I haven't brought him in here at all before. Um, just let him in here now. And I'm just about to do my first little bit to see where he is. Now, apparently, this is the area the school where he's uh, scuttled off and riders have fell off him uh, or at least two anyway so it's not particularly a place we'd do the first ride in but I want to see 
where he's at in here, whether he'll disengage, whether he'll give me uh, respect to space, but more importantly, how he's going to bend around me because he scuttles and he, he doesn't bend. That's the thing you can't, this is where the problem is, where he'll straighten his spine, his vertebrae, his neck, his head, tuck his tail and go. You cannot bend into a stop. So if we can get him bending a little bit, not being so straight, mentally he's going to be giving more. Um, so all I'm doing there, when he's looking away, I'm just tapping him back to me like there. Stay with me a little bit. You know, it's such a good thing I've found that helps these horses. Um, so we'll see if he'll stop for me first. See whether he'll uh, give me a bit of respect. Uh, the more respect he gives me, the more he's going to is going to feel better about it. So I'll step back here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I quite like that. Um, so I'll walk here. Stop. Yeah, come. See if I can back him up a bit. Yeah, good man. Good man. Well, I quite like that. There was a little freeze there when I went to the little tight spot, which I don't like. Now we'll see if he can disengage his hindquarters. So, like I did in the school, in the, it, yes, yes, much softer, stop, back up, good man, look at me, not neater, we'll try this side, yes, come on, come on, because this is helping his bend, it's not there, come on, now I'm going to keep him going here, till, yes, the more I do this, the more he gets a bend in his body. Uh, again, mentally. Lovely. Much nicer. Nicer feel to that. Stop. Good man. Good man. How's that? Right then. We'll see what he's like now. Moving around me. This is where I anticipate he's going to go a little bit rigid here. Uh, so when he gets to the end of this, I'm going to try and do lots of tugs and then leave him alone when he thinks about coming off it, coming off the pressure. Um, so um, I'll ask him here to go. That's lovely. That's lovely. You, you see that? He's not pulling me there. So that's really... That was probably the work in the stable. This side might be different. Come on. Nice. See, he's bending his neck here, look. Look. Look, this is on a loose rein. There. Give him to that halter. Much better. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're going to up the tempo a little bit now. Uh, I want to try and get him so he can up, but can come down to this, all right? So, okay, so. Come on. Come on. So I want him forward with his feet here. There. Come on. So when he goes forward with his feet, this goes away. See the little tuck, the little tuck there that he's got. See his tucks to run. I, I'm doing this to make sure I've got control of it, his head if he tucks and runs. You see how I'm? This is deliberate. This is to. So I'm, I, I want him to to bend there, bend, bend. Yes, good boy. So this will go away when his feet go forward properly. There. Now my hand's pretty much open, look. See? So he, I'm tugging him there because he... Come on. Forward. Forward. There. Forward. Forward. Didn't ask you to trot. And this picture, this picture will get less, 
less and less threatening the more we do this now. It become not such a bad thing in his brain that it's going to kill him. Now go this way. <coughs> I'm not going to be asking you to do this, by the way. But I'm testing him. Is he listening to the lead rope or running off? And he's not, is he? That's quite nice. Little tuck there. Good. Now the other side. Little blowout. Did you? That's called connection. We noticed then that little oh, relax for a second. Forward with those feet. Forward with those feet. You can control this flag. If you go forward with the feet. If you go forward with the feet, then it goes away. There. It's gone away. Do you see that then? He... I want forward and rank. He can control this flag. He can control it. Go forward. Go forward. There. You see how this works? Forward and you'll get rid of it. Forward. Forward and you get rid of it. Forward and round. Forward and round. There. Oh. I didn't want to desensitize the flag because I wanted to judge when he got upset about something, which I knew he would. I want to see where he top tailed and ran straight like he does with the rider, yeah? Uh, and and he kind of did and didn't. He, did, he didn't run off. So now I can desensitize him a little bit. What are you looking at, Bab? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so so now I, I can just get him a bit more used to this. Uh, but I did want him to just really be unknowing about it so I could judge what his reaction will be to now the lead rope this way. Right then, so that's pretty good. He will be frightened of it again when I extend it. But that's what you would do. You would get them used to used to the flag a little bit and then use it for information to the feet once he's... Uh, but that's, uh, that's not too bad. Now we'll extend it and we'll see now what he's like with the flag again. Forward, much better. Quite a, no, look, he's not, he's not pulling on it, is he? Yeah? He pulled on it there, so I've tugged him. Tugged him. So it has to have an end to it. Into a trot. And then disengage into face. There. That's quite stiff. We need that better. Tell him how good that is. Go again. Forward with those feet. Forward with those feet. Forward with those, forward with those feet. So he can control that flag. There. Face. Disengage. Nice. That was nice. Now, do you want to go that way or do you want the flag? Now, I'm not neutral. I'm asking. Forward with those feet. Beautiful. So the flag's out of play now. Flag. A little tug there because he. There. Right, will he disengage, face, will he back up, yeah, backed up, will he go this way, yes, will he turn and face, will he back up, wow, pretty good, pretty good, right, now I'm going to see if I can send him through a gap here. And then we'll get him siding up. Right. We'll try this without the flag first. Good lad. Seems quite chilled in here, doesn't he? 
more than I thought it would be. Do you? But we have got a nice day. I mean, this does help. The wind's not bad, is it? So, forward. Through the gap. Disengage. Forward. Now I'm trying not to move myself here. Disengage. Forward. Lovely. Now disengage. Disengage. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Stop. Mate. Good. Right. Wrong way. Correct way. It's all right. Tightness on your back. No, don't. Hey. Touch him to a stop. Beautiful. Startle over nothing. Again, I've been <laughs> doing this a million times. I work all day on this. I do all day on this. All day. Then put him up and then spend another hour till I could drag a rope down there and up him. Till he's the threat of all of this has started to go. Um, yeah, can't even put my back. Palm on him, and this is where we we carry, most a lot of people just carry on and get someone to hold a horse to get on. Well, you're stealing a ride. That's called you know that, don't you? It's stealing a ride. So. Touch to stop, gone too far. You gotta be able to you gotta be able to put up with me getting a little bit like this. Getting a little bit, you know, come on, don't worry there. Touch to stop. Tell him how good he is, he went the wrong way. Come on. I'm not gonna hurt you, but touch to stop. There you go. There you go. You better handle this. Handle all this, mate. No, that's great. So now we'll work on that again. There. So when he scuttles, it's nothing in it for him. He has to just come back, you know. And each time he scuttles off in a bit of a panic, then we work on that again. So it's all good. It's all, you know, there. You know, there. So he's, come on. There. There. A little bit better. And each time he scuttles off, I think, great, we'll work on siding up again. And we'll get back at it. It's not going to... The way his brain working, the more I do this, the less of a threat all this is. The less life-threatening it is. That's called desensitization. So it's desensitizing into all of these things. That's pretty good. There 
There's a change. There's a change. Touch to stop. You see the little touch? There's a change. There's a change. Hey, kid. What do you think? A bit better? A lot. Uh, but again, you know, if it happens again, great. Keep going. But I'd like to, like I said, I'd like to get to a stage where I could chuck a rope, a rope down him. Bring it up without any of that little uh, tuck tail. Now, if you can't even do that, do you know what I'm saying? You can't even pop a rope down his bum. Okay. There, yeah, see? So that's the next stage. That would be the next day. Ropes. Ropes, bags, whatever. But you know, so I'm giving him the option to move. If I tried to stop him to move, then it goes downhill terrible. I'm showing him that he can go. If I try to stop him moving his feet, which is fight or flight, give him the fight. He can he can do what he wants. So he's not going to feel trapped. There's a machine there. He's co There's a lot of good here. He's coping with that machine. Um, so would you say there's a little tiny improvement there? That was a tug tail before, wasn't it? Tuck and move. So, so you know, a little, a little spot there, but a little spot there. But he's choosing not to move at the moment. He's choosing to stay and experiment with this. It's probably better for me to. He's thinking it's probably better for me to just wait here and have have a nice time rather than have to go all the way around again and just have the same deal. Yeah, little tuck tail. Because what I'm doing now, I'm going down the back with it. But I'd want to build this where I can chuck a long rope down on that floor and drag it up him. Yeah, tuck tail. Tuck tail. Because now, I'm dropping it, aren't I? Instead of just doing this, I'm, I'm, I'm dropping it. I don't want... There, little little change. There. Um, mate, mate. You've had it bad, didn't you? You've had it bad. <laughs> what a cool pony. Um, would you be able to do this for me in a second now? I'll have a go. Look. That's it. The more you do it, the better. So it doesn't matter if he gets it wrong. And then a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yes, good, good. Just about made it. So you can see where days of this would benefit. Getting that spot out. Getting the groundwork good. Chucking ropes over him. Flagging him. So all of that is gone. Yeah, like it's nothing, yeah. Little spot, wasn't there? Little spot. Yeah, that can't be there. That needs to be gone. Yeah, you see that's the spook. There's, there's the runoff. Don't be bashful, just get on with it, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? The more you, you, you're, as if, you were doing that a little bit as if he, he should spook. You do it like it. Did I think of that? Yeah, there you go. Look at that look. Look at that. You found a spot there, didn't you? Yeah. Found the spot. So basically, so are you getting that there, what you got to do? And what you got to get? It's all going to be gone, all of them spots. Right. So we go and lead him out on the road a minute then. Right. They've got to be gone. Okay, I'll lead him up there now. Oh, we're going to put the bit in now, first, haven't we? Right, we need the bit now. Now all to do is to be tight in the door. Need a relaxed mouth, all right? So I would not, at this stage, be doing that up. If you're going to do it up, just really, really loose. Do, do, do you see why? 
you wouldn't clamp because that's all that's going to do is, is clamp so you want it nice and loose like that okay right and these are the see that we put this on last night you see that that it go, it's a chin strap that stops the because we we dropped the bit on this now because it was really tight like that it was like that we've dropped it down but when you start to bend them it can because it's loose now and more comfortable that can go in the mouth in there yeah so this stops it sliding through the mouth okay right then all right so we'll see how he bends to the bit now yeah lot to think about so you raise up you run the hand down this goes on the neck and then this goes there round to your hip there's so much resistance there I can't even tell you all right it needs to be really immediate um, have I? Yes, I have. yeah okay well don't get on to start with just sort of put your weight in there make sure he's all right with everything yeah. okay no worries. all right then. So just like it, right, just put your weight in first, just make sure everything's all right for, for getting on him. And then go on, a bit more, jump a bit. Uh -uh. And again, again. Yeah, good, and then down. I'm gonna move him around now, all right? Well done, all right, let me move him around a little bit. Well done. Again, like it's nothing. Now, if he moves, I just move out of the way and I'm going to move him again, all right? So just stack the same as before. Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Right, let me move him. So I'm going to count to seven now. So there's one, two. Now I'm deliberately not holding him Peter. I could hold him still. Yeah. But I, I want him to just wait on you to get on. I want him, you know, I want to wait on you. Right. Okay. Now when you give him a little rub and then same thing again. Down and down and down. Alright, watch it. Because when you get up there and he's still, I need to get straight back off, right? Yeah. Time, just film when we turn it off and just film when we go to get on. Because, you know, this might take a while. Yeah. Back up again. And down. And down, give him a rub now. Now we've just made our idea, his idea, yeah. by just saying, keep moving, we don't mind, we're working on good stuff. There's no way you would have made him stand still for you unless we just made it his idea. Yeah. Making sense? Yeah. Okay, walk all around him and rub on him. He's loosened his jaw off now. See the spot? Yeah. See the spot? That's again, for when riding down that school or anything, that's got to be gone. All right, off you go. Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Down, 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 down. Good girl. That's the spot. Yeah. That's the spot. Let him know it. Now he hasn't got to move. No. Because there's something in it for him now. Yeah. So now then, ready to get, get on now then? Yeah. All right. If he doesn't move, if he's moved, you step down and let me do my thing. All right. And I want you to rub, rub. Rub the hair off him when you're on. Rub the hair off him. Rub him. Rub him. Rub him. Don't look at his eyes. Like it's nothing. All right? Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Good girl. 
subscribe, it's nothing. And now I want you to step down. Right, like it's nothing. Jump down there, give him a rub. Right, let's all just not even look at him now. Like, do you know what? We'll just talk now. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's it. Let him have a little uh, little bit of this. Uh, hey there. Do a little bit of that, mate? And that's all that was. So you see how we made our idea his idea? Yeah. Didn't force it. No holding him. Huh? Looks, does it? So, as that sunk into your head, yeah. you've got to make it their idea. Just okay. move, keep moving them, keep using it, so that if you're using it for something to add advantage, like I was flicking the rope on him, like I was disengaging him, like I was trying to feel a bend from him, then how does it matter? Does it matter, does it? Three, get the reins and step up. Step up there. And, yeah, step up. Step up because, right now, give him a rub. Rub him all over. Rub him all over. Yeah. And now step down. And then I want you to step back up. All right. All right, now step back up. And now rub him. All right. And step down. I'm going to move him around then. Step down. I'm going to move him around. And then I want you to get back on. We need this good. Back on there. Brilliant. Right, now we stay on there now and just rub him, alright? Okay. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna lead you around a little bit. Alright? Lead you to me, just rub on him. That's it. Rub on him. Rub on him. Rub on him, rub on him, rub on him. Hey kid. Right. Rub, 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 both, yeah, that's it, rub, 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 <laughs> yeah, and rub his bum, like it's nothing, both sides, rubbing both sides, good, no tuck in there, what's that, yeah. quite, quite good, yeah, right, if you step down a minute, Step down. Okay. Yeah, back on. Yeah. He's kind of moving one step to balance himself. I think we'll let, let that bit go because yeah. he's stopping on his own. He's not trying to do it. No. Alright, so I'm going to lead you again. Around. Just rub on him. Rub on him. Rub on him. Lovely job. Really good. Really good. Now I'm coming in the other eye now, alright? The other eye now. So, are you feeling quite confident? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll go around this way. Um, let's back him up a little bit here. Away this side. Rub on him. Ah, 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 ah. Rub on him. Good boy. Uh -uh. Good lad. He was quite tight when he came this side then, but I want to just get, do it a couple of times. So, right. So. That's nice, that's nice. That's so you've run your hand down on the neck. Take a hold a little bit, back there. Yeah, get rid of that, right, and to, to there. All right. Hold on, your, on, hold on here, yeah. so that, um, I'm gonna come around with you a little bit here. Yeah. Right, so, uh, we can't release, really, if we can help it. Yeah, okay. Go on, it. so down again. Um, and then see whether you can, just hold him. Um, Hold him till he, till he gives here. Yes, yes. Yes, good. Good. Nice one. Nice one. It's, we've got him standing. Nice to get on now. Yeah, we made it his idea. We can get on and off now without him moving. And we've just been getting the flexing going now, which is from the saddle with the bit. So if you want to just show us this side, we, this is the side that was the toughest to do. If you want to run your hand up, run your hand down, hold on the neck. Imagine a, 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 a flex and wait till it, yeah, look at that. Now he moved then, he moved and you you did a one lane stop. Yeah. yeah that, was, that was a one lane stop. And then, 
Bringing a little flex, not moving his feet, lovely job. Now the other side, the other side. Uh, we have to watch his mane here, don't we? Uh, let's take his mane. Right, run your hand down, and then on his neck. Little bit tough. Now he was tough on the other side. Yeah, okay. How's that feel? Right. So that's what you would need to do. Like so many hundred of them. Sit in here, do lots of it, then walk him around and stop him with one rein. So do you want to jump off? Because I'd like to see you get on him outside. Okay. Yeah, all right. Do you feel it? He was lovely to get on and off. We'll let him do that now. Rub, rub on him, then shake his saddle. Good. Really good. Set yourself. Okay, long road now. You do a little bit of turning left and right a little bit. Yeah. Back that way. Yes, now this way. Hi, I didn't need to, to, to butt in much there. Most of that was explained. It was explanatory. Uh, you know, I, I realized very early on that, that the horse really isn't ready to ride. And I think most would agree with that. Uh, it's had a very bad start. You know, 
the worst thing is a few times at the first ride that, that a horse will, you know, run off and, 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 and unseat the rider. It's kind of hard for them to get over it. Now, I noticed little spots there that I worked with to try and improve. Now, Helen's little helper there, uh, bless her, she's from Bermuda. Uh, she's staying in this country for a while. Very brave, listened to me intensely. And I needed to go through a lot with her because, and I made it very, very clear that those spots need to be gone. They need to go way back now and get all of that bending better. I mean, I short tracked so much there. Uh, and the only reason I let, um, uh, let her get on outside is because that's where they, they lead the horse with the rider on there. And I wanted to make sure everything was as good, if not better, uh, which it was. Um, so, you know, I've gave my instructions. My conscience is clear now. I hope no one gets hurt on that horse. And I hope I've made it clear that there's so much work to do uh, until you actually properly ride that horse. Um, I certainly wouldn't ride the horse in the arena uh, because that's where it's been very frightened in that arena. I wouldn't do that until it can be ridden with other horses out miles, work on that one rain stop. Yeah, so, you know, that's all I could do in the time. You know, uh, ideally it'd be nice for Helen to bring, bring the horse down to me. Um, but there is another issue that's come to light in the trailer. It's not good in the trailer, it panics in the trailer. It's a whole different ball game. It kind of showing you where the horse is at mentally. So I'll uh, keep you posted on that. If there's any update in the next few months, uh, I'll, I'll put on about the little fell pony and how it's doing. So now it's the, it's the following morning. <laughs> She's getting an old hand at this now. Got to do your stuff well, again, Nita. We're, we're about half an hour away from people turning up. We put the barriers in. Lovely surface. Yeah. Here. And uh, we've got about 140, I think, in total, haven't we? But guys, we were given a limit in the end. Town. How many? Could, three, four hundred people. Uh. Um, a lot of people who wanted to come who couldn't. But what a lovely, uh, lovely, lovely. Lovely. And your shop's all set up there, about. Yeah, my little shop. <laughs> my little shop. Okay, you get in your corner. Get in my corner. <laughs> and every place. Right. Okay. Hey, Here we go again. Hey, Kula. Oh. Hey. Good girl. Welcome yeah. to Benny Farm. Um, we've Steve and Tanya, by chance, Helen and I were sat in a bar, the bus bar. The bus bar. Me in a bar? Yeah. <laughs> and Helen said, that guy looks like Steve Young. <laughs> so we went over. Here we are. <laughs> Give us a big round of applause. Would you like to come to Blackpool and do a demo? And we said, well, we love Blackpool. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows, that's where me and Tanya met. I don't know how many years ago, I shouldn't know. <laughs> 46. 43. That's when we left the netball too. Yeah. That was in Blackpool. Okay, that. So I practiced this with a bridle or with a halter. Um, I'll check her out. Now, now, can anyone see if I'm turning to the right here? What are you doing? Right. Yeah. I'm putting my outside leg behind the girl. Every time I go right, my left leg goes behind. Whether it be wall, trot, canter, everything, my opposite leg goes behind the girl. Every time. Now, in conjunction with that leg, I put my weight. I don't lean like this, right? That'll send you off balance. I put my weight in. If I want to turn right now, I put my, my weight from there, my outside leg from back. If I want to go this way, my weight from here, my outside leg back. Now if I, if I put my leg back further, she'll just turn around. Right? Um, my leg back further, it's my, what I call my walking pirouette. Right? Um, say if I say the word now, well, I will always either back up, or turn more than 90 degrees. 
from, from the start when I say the word. But I can slow down with the word easy. Does anyone use that? So if I was, if I was going to jump around here, right, and I'm going to turn in here, my left leg's gone back, my weight's there, and then I want to quicken it up a bit and then say easy. Right? Did you see a slow down a little bit there? But if I want to stop, well, and then I always, always, in hand, no, don't go forward, lower your head, thank you. A bit more, thank you. Yeah. A bit more, thank you. <laughs> and ask you that time. Right. So, uh, this is called riding by the seat of pants. It's so old, it's, it's coming new again. Because how did people fight on horseback? It was all legs and seat, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't, we, we, we're all right dependent now, more than we ever were, really. It's all right. We catch them, we tap them, we lead them, we tap them, we get on them, we get off them, we lead again, de-tap, and say to her, that's right. The most balanced horses I've ever seen are the ones on the ranches in America. They turn as good left as right, they stand, they lead left or right, because very often the only side of a cow will get off or on is the side of the road with the cow was. It's no different. Uh, so, good deal. Ah, oh, he took a good deal. Did you see that, guys? He took a good deal then. Because if it's a good deal, then there's a not so bad deal. So, good boy. Good deal? Yes. Notice the smallest change and reward the slightest. Try. Who said that? Yes. Your horse to a flag. He might carry around. I'll only stop this if he's coming out. If he's coming your way, alright? <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 a horse is difficult. You know, I'll keep him out of here. And then, roll it to a stop. You see how that, that touch into us? Touching can really make a difference. Um, now, I, my timing was back then. Go. Um, so it shows he can. He can flex without moving his feet. He can. So if I put my legs on him, and there's not much happening, you know, I'll put my legs on him there, and there's not. But if I, a lot of people have got horses that's dead to the leg, yeah? And I find releasing a horse away works so quick. You can go back to the leg after. So if I release him, right? You see that? You see, you see how I just release my legs off? I, I press him. Look, that's good releasing a horse away. I'm not going to do it too much, guys, because he. <laughs> so, uh, and I let the arm up and forward to Leslie Desmond. The demo had gone really, really well. It was really well received, lots of questions. Um, it just went, I couldn't have wished for it to be any better. Good set of horses. Now, this horse that's just come in now was the one I kept joking, actually, everybody. Oh, uh, we've got, we got uh, oh, it might be a bit late now to start this horse and everyone was laughing. And then I said, oh, I had my sciatica, come on. Because this was, this was the horse that we were all waiting for, really. I hadn't seen the horse before. It was a horse that had been causing a lot of damage to people. It had caused tissue damage, uh, you know, proper bites. Couldn't put the rug on. The rug were, was almost a no-no. Tacking up, you'd get bitten. Uh, you know, it was a very dangerous horse, big horse, big horse. 
and the girls who own the horse hadn't had the horse that long so they'd inherited a lot of this problem things weren't getting any better so i we we were asked if we needed a demo horse now i i popped down to the stables just before the horse came in just to make sure it wasn't some wild horse that was going to cause some damage uh, uh, and and you know it can be it can be led around it's when you start asking things of the horse so it's just come in there being led around and we're about to start so bearing in mind that pr previous to my what i'm going to be doing the horse you can't rug it uh, without really 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 being dangerous you can't tack it without people holding the horse and making sure you don't get bit uh so it's interesting for you to see how we get on with this with this now gotta just add very quickly that yes this horse has been vet checked, been scoped, everything, you know, that, that kind of is standard now when, when horses have, um, you know, problems, people are getting aware that it can be ulcers, it can be a physical problem. So yes, I always ask that before people sort of start mentioning that. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, so everything's in order uh, health-wise uh, as it has to be checked first. And so, yeah. Doing this now. So what? That's it. What can you tell us? Or We've got him in January. To wear outside the stable, can't put the rug on without. The claws of back legs and the back of the front legs. Um, bites, has caused damage, tissue damage. Bit me on the hip. Yeah. Time off, just bit me on the hip. Yeah. If you put in a saddle on, um, they'll go and grab at the hair net and get the hair net's not there, you'll get you. No, you've had the horse checked physically. Yes. Yeah. He, he, yeah. He'll warn you from the back. He'll go back. The yeah. muscles curve, yeah. and then he'll. So, so if he pins an ear at me when I'm doing some damage, that thought cannot come into you know. I will pick up on that straight away. Those ears will come back, and then I'll do something about it. There has to be a consequence to it. Decide to walk into me a little bit. Now, the first thing is I think he he doesn't have. If you're holding him that tight, he's kind of in your space all the time, leading him. <coughs> you understand what I'm saying, guys? It's all too close. That's all right. That's not bad. That's not bad, kid. Is it? Yes, you can. What a marvel. Can you go this way? Yes, you can. Go this way. Look at that. So, if I if I can establish space, leadership, controlling of his feet, that's when a horse starts to think you're running the show. <coughs> no need for me to be in my ears, and it might not be in my ears. Right? Anyone know why I did that? Have you seen why? He's so used to like being in your in your space. So it's important that I'm kind to him, but there, you see the difference there? So, leading. Leading. Driving. That's my long range right there. He did that himself, didn't he? Now, you're going to say that. Why have I said that? 
There's history. There's history. He knows your look. He knows everything about you. Now, if I involve you, there's a fight on straight away. So what I'm trying to show you is, you're going to have to change. If I can get this done, you've got to kind of see this video and, and do some stuff. Um, so, okay, if you can give me the rug, um, and then go back in the naughty corner. And then, uh, Any better? <laughs> I'm going to take it off again, I'm going to put it on again. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even tie him. Uh, now that's not me showing up. What I'm doing is showing how, yeah. how this gets in a horse's feet, getting respect to my body, not, a, not accepting a bad thought with a pin aggressive thought. <coughs> Do what? It attacked the hanging that short, so we've no room to move his head back towards. Did you hear that, guys? Yeah. Tied in that short, so he couldn't bite them. Okay. Oh, okay. Moves. <coughs> now I'm going to give him that benefit of the doubt there. He's swishing his tail, but there's no biting tendency, guys. There's. Yeah. I'm checking his attitude. He's trying hard here. Now he's got bored now. Pretty good. <laughs> um, so do you think there's hope? I hope there's hope for you. Yeah. I'm sure if, there is. Yeah. 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 You can do it, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, let's take this off. Uh, I think that's the end of the day, guys. I hope you all just learned something. I don't want to go. <laughs> what an encore! <laughs> well, I don't know what we're all doing now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for coming, guys. Have a safe journey. Yeah, thank Happy you. Happy So, it's our day today. Yesterday was the demonstration, and that's where we're stopping. We've just been dropped off. We'll be picked up in the morning. So, we're going to paint the town red, and we're done. Oh, we're not doing that. Yes. <laughs> so we're off to the front now. Off to the sea. Right then. Walk up. Bye-bye.
fine, man. It's, it's just, I think Nita's been fine, but she's kind of had enough now, isn't she? And Molly... She, she ran into the... She ran into the... Into the trailer. And Charlotte said Molly's missing her terribly. Yeah. Well, we've got about five hours to go now. Uh, we've just been some, through some horrendous weather. Uh, but, uh, guys, we're, this always happens to us. Tony's been looking for a new car, OK? So we're looking for a new car. Some, the price of fuel now... Uh, the car she's got isn't bad on fuel, but she's been looking for another one that's a bit more economical and a lot cheaper to keep on the road. Uh, so she's been looking for one, and, and one's come up exactly what she wants. It's only £20 a year uh, to, to keep on the road for tax. And it does, what was the miles to the gallon? An average of 60 miles to the gallon. Yeah. So, and it's, it, everything about it's what she wants for the red interior. And it turns out it's on the way home. So we've just spoke to the guy and we're gonna, we might buy a car on the way home, guys. <laughs> Tanya's all excited. She might be having a new car. Let's see. One mile to go. Look at that. This is called the horseshoe falls. Horseshoe falls. Have you bought it? Yes, I bought it. You bought it. Well, she bought it, guys. There it is. 60 to the gallon. You'd never believe it, would you? But that's what she wanted. One of those with red interior. And it has got... It has got red interior. That's what she wanted. Happy wife. Happy life, guys. Good tip. <laughs> and there's the guy we just bought it off. And... There's Nita patiently waiting, but look where we are. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I could stop here and I wouldn't go riding tomorrow with Nita, couldn't I? Oh, she'd take one look up there and say, Are you kidding me? <laughs> right, we need to crack on. Oh dear, almost home, Nita. Not far, 10 minutes. Is in or out? Oh, they're in. They're in. Okay. Nita! Hey! Nita! You did great! You did great, kid. Apparently, Molly's been a nightmare without her. You get you out! <laughs> wow, what a trip that was, guys. What a trip that was. You know, we'll have all these videos when we're older. We've got so many now. I mean, we'll be able to sit down when we're 80 odd and just breeze through these videos and a good thing to have for us as well. But yeah, a uh, bit more rest now and then we're off. We're back on uh, Monday, Tuesday. I've got three horses next week to go to. Uh, three horses to go to. And then we've got um, Holly. Uh, oh, she's ready now for back in. She's on the subscription channel. Um, so she's ready for me to get uh, hopefully riding when I get back and then uh, it's all all focused then on the showcase the showcase a uh, couple of days uh, at the showcase we've been invited there and that's November the 5th and 6th I think it is 5th and 6th Saturday and Sunday and um, we're going to be be there with, um, with Charlotte and, and Mel and Tanya so that that'll be a focus so yeah we're really busy when we get back uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it is a good video, I think, this one. Uh, and um, 
any tools you see me use, Tanya always reminds me, you know, the, the boiling sticks, the, the special ropes that we do, the halters, uh, the flags, obviously, our famous flags, and those all important safety ties because we will never tie on string or solid. We haven't done for 25 years. Get the, the Shopify for that, um, or message Tanya, but Shopify goes straight to it. Um, and um, talking about Holly uh, and other videos, mentioning Holly there, there is on our subscription site uh, 110 videos on there, separate videos to this channel um and yeah if you can get over there that really helps us to keep going um and there is some great videos on there and we try to put at least one to two a week on as well so that's worth considering so, i think that's about it i'm gonna get off to the get on my moped now and go go and meet everybody and spend the day there uh soaking up a bit of sun so yeah uh, it, i i remember this time again if you can like comment on the videos again that helps us greatly and uh, as usual again happy trails guys so i've done my bit now i'm off get on my little moped and try and find the rest of the family all i know they're about three mile from here no maybe two mile uh at a place called the sugar uh the sugar beach sugar beach so i'll put a little couple of clips and before i cut this uh i'll put a couple of clips of hopefully finding them and where where we're spending the day See ya. There's Dan, look. <laughs> and Jensen there with a the snorkel. There's Charlotte and Jasmine on the Lila. A lovely place. Dan. <laughs> Dan and Jensen. <laughs> Seen any big fish? Yeah, there's a few. Is there? Yeah, some crab over on those rocks as well. Is there? 